Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today I'm coming at you with another Dollar Tree video. I've done quite a few of these here on my channel, some budget videos, snacks from the Dollar Tree, a couple of Dollar Tree what I eat in a days and today we are doing breakfast five breakfasts from the Dollar Tree that are WW friendly, a couple of very easy, convenient type of breakfast, and then a couple others that you make at home. So I'm super excited for today's video. If you're excited as well, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you are new or you haven't yet subscribed, you don't wanna miss a single video, hit that little subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Down in the description box, I will link all of the other Dollar Tree videos that I've done so that you can kind of binge watch all these budget Dollar Tree Tree videos as well as my nutrition coaching I do offer personalized to you macros and calories definitely take advantage of that service it's the easiest way to know how much you should be eating to reach your health goals you'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions so there's a little bit of something for everyone so check that out links discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group is also down in that description box so head on over and join us so let's jump into these five breakfast ideas on a budget from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree breakfast number one, I'm going to make chocolate chip pancakes. We'll pair this with some fruit and then I even found creamer for my coffee. So the pancake mix from the Dollar Tree is this light and fluffy pancake and waffle mix. It is buttermilk. All you do is add water. So the only points that you have to count are calories is the points and calories in the actual mix itself. I decided not to pick up syrup because I'm going to add some of these semi-sweet baking chips to my pancakes. That should sub for the sweetness of the syrup. We all have butter on hand, so you could add butter if you would like as well, but I'm going to make a chocolate chip pancake. I did pick up some pineapple slices in light syrup. So with fruit that's in syrup, as long as you drain it, and you can also rinse it, you can still count it as zero points. So I'm just going to pair a side of pineapple slices, and I even found French vanilla coffee mate at the Dollar Tree, so I'll be able to add some creamer to my coffee for the entire five days of breakfast. So the serving size of the pancake and waffle mix is a third of a cup. So that is what I'm going to be using for my pancake. So I have one third cup of the mix and then I fill my one third cup about three quarters of the way full. I'm going to add about half of that in. Let's stir this up and we can add additional water if needed for the right consistency. So I ended up using just under a third of a cup of water. So let's get this in a skillet and we'll top it with some chocolate chips. I'm just using a small skillet here. I'm going to go ahead and add my batter. I did spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. This looks delicious. So I'm adding in half of a tablespoon. I went ahead and just weighed that out on my food scale of those chocolate chips. That's only gonna add two additional points to our pancake. I do wanna say that I tried one of these chocolate chips just to make sure it wasn't that really waxy chocolate. You guys, they're delicious for a dollar. So I'm really excited for this. So we're going to let this cook, flip it, and those chocolate chips should melt really nicely in the pancake. All right, she's flipped. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. So here's breakfast. This looks so good. How amazing is this? Very decadent. Yum. Okay, so I have one of my chocolate chip pancakes. I ended up pulling out three of the pineapple rings. This looks incredible. You could add some spray butter, regular butter, regular or sugar-free maple syrup, but I'm just going to eat it as is. I really think that these chocolate chips are just going to be the perfect sweetness with the pancake. Dollar Tree breakfast number two is quick and simple. This is great if you're running out the door to work or to an event or you just have to be on the run for breakfast. They do have these breakfast biscuits. Now these are dupes for the Belveda biscuits. I'll pop a picture in here. I did pick up the blueberry. They had a couple other flavors at my Dollar Tree, cinnamon and maple, I believe. There are six biscuit packs for a dollar. There's 10 whole grains in each serving, 115 calories. And then again, I'm just going to pair that with 
with some diced fruit cocktail. This is in light syrup, so I'll make sure that I drain and most likely rinse that as well, and it'll be zero point. For our quick on the go breakfast, we're having a pack of these blueberry biscuits. Here's what they look like. They look really good and they smell really good. And remember there are six of these packs in there. Not bad at all. And only 115 calories. I am going to go ahead and drain this and I'll put together the complete breakfast. All right. And here's breakfast. This actually looks so good. So a pack of the biscuits and this is about half a little over half of the drained can of the diced fruit cocktail this is perfect you guys super easy Dollar Tree breakfast number three is oatmeal. You can pick up this big bag of these outrageously quick one minute oats. They had some regular rolled oats as well, but the quick oats are super convenient, especially again, if you're running out the door for breakfast. I'm just going to add some raisins. They have this cute little pack for a dollar. And then I thought to spice it up, I would add some cinnamon sugar blend, and that would be a great complement to the raisins and kind of make it a spicy, sweet breakfast. And with my oats and with the remaining breakfast of the week, I found this Old Orchard Healthy Balance Cinnamon Cranberry Diet Juice. One gram of sugar, two grams of carbs, and 10 calories per serving. So for the remaining three days of the week, I will be pouring myself a 10 calorie or zero point glass of juice with breakfast. So for the oatmeal breakfast, I'm going to do one half of a cup of the quick cook oats. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of raisins and we'll sprinkle the cinnamon sugar blend on top. So this has 15 calories in a teaspoon and I believe it's one point. I'm not going to count any points for it. I'm just going to add a very small amount to the top of the cooked oats. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the oatmeal in the microwave for a couple of minutes. I had the half of a cup of the quick oats, about a cup of water, a tablespoon of raisins, and then when it comes out, we'll top it with the cinnamon sugar. So our oatmeal is perfectly cooked. This looks amazing. And then I'm going to just sprinkle that cinnamon sugar blend right on top. And here is today's breakfast. Doesn't this look so good with that cinnamon sugar and those raisins? Perfect Dollar Tree, satisfying filling breakfast. Dollar Tree breakfast number four is another great on the go. They had quite a bit of cereal options at the Dollar Tree. They had quite a few of brand name cereals as well. So I thought this was probably the most well-rounded, less sugary cereal option. This is the Honey Bunches of Oats with almonds. It is 160 calories per cup. I'm just going to be using milk I have on hand, whether that be low fat milk or almond milk. In my case, I have cashew milk, so I'll be adding some of that. I'm going to have another glass of juice. And I found these mandarin orange cups. These are also in light syrup, but these are the cute little to-go cups. So again, these make it really easy if you're running out the door or for breakfast on the go, or if you're taking your breakfast with you, this would be a great option. You get three of the little cups for a dollar. So I'm going to have one of those with my cereal. So I open up the box of the honey bunches of oats. So this is how much is in there. It says it's enough for three servings. So that's three breakfasts for a dollar. I'll go ahead and measure out one cup, put my cereal fruit together, and I'll show you this breakfast. So here's this Dollar Tree breakfast, not bad if I say so myself. Here is my honey bunches of oats, one cup, and then my half of a cup of almond milk or cashew milk, in my case is zero points. I have one of my little fruit cups, I'm just going to drain all of the liquid in eight ounces of the juice. So here's today's Dollar Tree breakfast.
And Dollar Tree breakfast number five is cream of wheat. They have the maple and brown sugar instant cream of wheat. So I was really excited to find this. It is a three pack and in the package is 130 calories as prepared the way they recommend it. It's 170. I'm going to pair that with another one of my mandarin orange cups for zero points and then a glass of juice. That should get me about halfway through this juice and then of course we'll finish that off. But you can't be a diet juice for a dollar. So we're going to do the maple cream of wheat. I have one half of a cup of water here and I'm just going to prepare mine in the microwave. joining me for another budget Dollar Tree video. I hope I gave you five great ideas for some breakfast that you can pick up at your local Dollar Tree. Under $10 for five days of breakfast is a fantastic deal. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, again, I will link all of my other Dollar Tree videos. You'll find my nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We'd love to have you there as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, gave you some great ideas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.